Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Omega Fire Ministry, Phoenix, Arizona, United States. Graduates and class of 2024. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Jude Nicole. Thank you for the privilege of hosting me as an in-house speaker on this auspicious occasion of the graduation class of 2024 in OFM Phoenix, Arizona. Graduates and graduated students for the class of 2024, on behalf of Omega Fire Ministries Phoenix, Arizona, and your wonderful pastor Jude Lecall, I want to congratulate you for this great milestone achievement in your lifetime. In the words of our spiritual father, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman, I want to register it in your minds that your last achievement, being high school graduation, is your greatest challenge to your future goals and destiny. In other words, in, your, in four years' time, we should be back here to congratulate and honor you for your bachelor's degree certificate. Amen. As you embark on this new journey, I want to remind you from the scriptures of whom you should be on college campuses. Who are you on college campus, I ask? First, remind yourself daily that you are a Christian, a priest, and a king. What do priests do? They advance the kingdom of God here on earth where they reign as kings through living out the culture of the kingdom. I mean the Christian kingdom and preaching the gospel to others. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 captures your status. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people on campus, that you should show forth the praises of him, God, who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise the Lord. And at the same time, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 6, who you are on campus and have made you kings and priests unto God on the college campuses. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Hallelujah. Number two, as a Christian on campus, you must declare your identity as a practicing Christian in every first encounter to whomever or whoever crosses your path. The longer you wait to do so, the more the world is ready to approach you to join them in what they believe. Remember, everyone believes in something. Thirdly, on campus, you are God's envoy and ambassador, an ambassador of Christianity, planted to showcase Christian culture and values, influence, and to dominate your new environment on campus. Hallelujah. As an Omega child, equipped to succeed on campus, I want to remind you that your first supplies to the university campus are the Holy Bible, the Rema for Living, our daily devotional guide, and the School of the Spirit. By the grace of God, as you open them daily, read and meditate on them, you will prosper and have good success in all your endeavors. Joshua 1, 8. Hallelujah. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night on campus, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in the Bible. And there you shall make your way prosperous, and you will be, you'll have good success all around. Another critical thing you must do is to strive to establish an Omega Fire Ministry campus fellowship on your university. You have to work with your pastor for a guide on how, on how to do so. Because if you are not strongly rooted from the onset in asserting your faith as a Christian, the godless world is in a hurry to add you to their programs. Hallelujah. Now, as an Omega child on campus, the things to pursue 
from the one. Number one, you must pursue God and godly lifestyles on campus. Number two, you must pursue your 3.5 to 4.0 GPA from your first day in class. Number three, be focused on the finishing line for years after with ambition to walk the stage as a graduate four years from now. Then number four, pursue godly associations and networks. Amen. The Bible tells us that you must not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18, praise the Lord. Now, while on campus, I've stated what you must give priority to as you enter the campus. And then I must also state and caution things to avoid on campus from the one. I want to also tell you we have gone through this route and we survived it. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus, you will survive it. We, we are here part of your entry and will also be part of your exit four years from now to the glory of God. Things to avoid on campus from the one as an Omega child, as a Christian. Avoid being shy to be identified as a Christian. He said, the Bible says, if you deny me before men, I will also deny you before my Father, which is in heaven. How does God deny? There are prayers that are not answered. There are battles you enter. God will not be there no matter how you cry. Why? You deny God from the beginning. Number two, do not live another person's life. That is, complete, that is completely another family. That is completely from another family, another value system, and another culture. Amen. I repeat, as an Omega child, from your biological family, from the church family, please do not live another person's life. That, that is completely from, different from another family, another value system, and another culture. Hallelujah. Number three, remember that everyone you are meeting in class or hostel, that no one followed you from your family house or from Omega Fire Ministry, Arizona. Number four, remember that you will have classmates, but not destiny mates. And number five, always remember whose child you are and the family you represent on campus. Number six, you will meet professors that are not Christians, that will do everything possible to disorient you from Christian values through the courses you are going to encounter, such as philosophy, general studies, and twisted ideology of evolution theory, propounded by Charles Darwin. Be, I repeat, be cautious and be wary of evolution theory that says men came from the homo sapiens, that men evolved. I want to put it on record that the professor may be right in his own standard, that his grandfather and ancestors came from the monkeys. But you, an Omega child, you were created fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Amen. So for the purpose of academic purpose reasons, all you do is to study the course and drop the knowledge immediately. Immediately you pass that course, drop it there for the professor. Praise the Lord. Number seven, you will certainly meet Mixed multitude as school and classmates. Do not be unequally yoked with them, please. I caution. Do not be unequally yoked. Second Corinthians 6 4, like I cited, 6 14, like I cited before. Second Corinthians 6 14. Do not be unequally bound together with unbelievers on campus. Do not make mismatch alliances with them. Inconsistent with your faith, your Christian faith. I'm reading from Amplified Translation. For what partnership can righteousness have with lawlessness? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? I remind you, you are light, and unbelievers are darkness. Please let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works on campus and give glory to your Father, Jehovah, King of glory. Amen. Or what harmony can there be between Christ and Belial? I mean Satan. Or what does a believer have in common with unbelievers? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? 
For we are the temple of the living God. Every Christian is a temple of God. Just as God said, I will dwell among you and walk among you. Praise the Lord. And I will be your God and you shall be his people. We shall be his people. Remember that your body, you must not abuse it. You must not abuse it with alcohol, drug, and sex. Because you are a living temple of God. So come out from among unbelievers. The Bible is cautioning now. And be separate on campus. Be different on campus. Not because you want to prove a point. Says the Lord. And do not touch what is unclean. And I will, be, I will graciously receive you and welcome you with favor. And I will be a father to you. And you will be my sons and daughters. Says the Lord Almighty. Praise the Lord. Drug is unclean. Alcohol is unclean. Illicit sex is unclean. So stay away from them. Cults, gangs are unclean things. So stay away from them. Number eight, be conscious of time and load management. Learn to prioritize your daily activities from the onset, starting from your Christian morning prayers to your classes on campus. Avoid the excessive addictions to the demons of idols, gadgets, telephone, tablets, computers, and more. The social media, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, TikTok, FaceTime, and more. Please stay away from these things. I mean, manage your time in a, better, in a more beneficial way. Amen. First John chapter 5, verse 21 says, Little children, Omega children on campus, keep yourself from idols. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. That's New Living Translation. Little children, Omega children, keep away from anything that, will, that might take God's place in your life. That time you are using on TikTok, five minutes, three minutes, short videos, games are ready to take your time from God. We distract you, so please be careful. One of the notable emotional imbalances fresh men face on campus is time and load management. I need to dwell on this. With the consequences of panic attack. Panic attacks lead to unnecessary pressure, search for solution to panic attack from wrong sources and friends. Fall back in academic performances and worst of all, resort to use of recreational drugs Social drugs as often prescribed by classmates and friends you meet on campus. Be careful what your parents did not teach you. Whatever solution they didn't give to you before you enter the campus, please don't be in a hurry to adapt and adopt what friends and classmates, hostel mates are ready to give you. Amen. Number nine, beware of hyenas on campus. The ones I refer to as hyenas on campus are seniors. Remember, you're a freshman. These seniors who have been there before you, they will approach you for various reasons, as mentors, friends, dating, but worst of all, initiation to sororities, brotherhoods, sisterhoods, gangs, clubs, and nightclubs. Please avoid all sororities, including the so-called Christian sororities, sisterhoods, and brotherhood. I want to caution there is nothing like Christian sororities and brotherhood and sisterhood. These are the masking of evil to make you believe they are real. Amen. And then people tell you, if you are not a Christian, we are not going to recruit you into sororities. That is a demonic approach. They are masking evil. There is nothing like Christian sororities, Christian um, brotherhood and sisterhoods. Be careful and be one. Remember these words of, uh, of ours. Number 10, be careful of fellow freshmen. And do not be in a hurry to make new friends. Observe your new environment for the first academic semester. Your new friends must reflect your future goals and Christian background. I repeat, the friends you are going to make on campus should and must reflect your future goals and Christian background. Remember whose child you are on campus. Amen. Number 11, do not feel as if you are lonely or express lack of self-control. 
to avoid being recruited into wrong associations. Make them know. Occupy yourself with godly things and your academics. Praise the Lord. Number 12, avoid alcohol use, hookah, vape, list candies, social, recre social recreational or medicinal marijuana, and all forms of illicit drugs. Marijuana is drug. Stay away from it. It leads to mental health. It leads to so many wrong things in life. Number 13, avoid running guns on campuses. Praise the Lord. Amen. Guns don't make you safe. Guns endanger your lives. Guns shorten your lives. Praise the Lord. The moment you begin to carry a gun, you become enemy to the public and enemy to the law enforcement. Number 14, avoid yoga lessons and games for they are entirely Indian and Asian witchcraft. Praise the Lord. I repeat on this because some of the subjects on school curriculum from middle to high school convey deep content of yoga, yet the Bible and Christianity is not on our school curriculum in the United States, but yoga finds itself there. I want to caution they say they use it for behavior therapy and all that. That is a witchcraft. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So avoid yoga lessons and games. I repeat, avoid yoga lessons and games for they are entirely Indian and Asian witchcrafts. Number 15, avoid new age religion or new age movement for they are satanic by nature. Number 16, do not create a wide margin between campus and your family I mean your parents. Call and confide in your parents on anything you are not cleared with. Any new culture they are going to introduce you to in school, any club, whatever thing they solicit you for, please remember to call your parents. Hallelujah. Confide in your parents. And parents also advise, reach out to your children. Call them from time to time. Don't be too busy for them. And young people, don't back your family, please. Number 17, do not create a wide margin between campus and your pastor, the church. Call your pastor, the wife of the pastor, and other leadership of the church for clarification on any subject matter you are not sure of. Praise the Lord. Don't, I repeat, please don't create a wide margin between you and the college campus praise the lord finally remember your parents remember your home church do them proud and know that omega fire ministry worldwide horn education very highly our father in the lord apostle professor johnson Suleiman, like i said is a professor amen and as you can see Many of us, pastors, including your parents, had a minimum of bachelor's degree. A minimum of bachelor's degree. That is the journey you are entering now. Praise the Lord. And I want to tell you, under this grace in Omega Fire Ministry, yes, we do education. Always remember, you are, you are, always remember we, your church family, we love you. Praise the Lord. And I just want to advance a little bit on campus fellowship campus fellowship there are already campuses on fellowship christian um, fellowships on campuses praise the lord what i encourage you to do we are spread out across the united states your college may not be in arizona maybe in georgia there is pastor k in georgia maybe in maryland there is Pastor Gideon in Maryland. Maybe in New Jersey, there is Pastor J Joe Arabike. Maybe in New York, there is a national pastor, Pastor Paul Salam. Maybe in Florida, I am here in Florida, Tallahassee, praise the Lord. And we are spread in Tennessee. We also have our pastors there in Tennessee. Amen. So in North Carolina, we are there. So we are spread out. If you are in Seattle, 
uh, Washington State. We also have Pastor Martin. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are, build a network with the, pa the state pastor to be able to help you establish a campus fellowship. Another thing I want to say is why you are there, look for an Omega Fire Ministry Church in that state. The, the, the distance may be there, nevertheless, identify with Omega Fire Ministry in the city or the state where your college is. And then the resident pastor will be able to help you to liaise with the school management, the campus, through student union affairs, um, student affairs department of the college on how to go uh, around the process of establishing Omega Fire Ministry Campus Fellowship. Hallelujah. You know, you will take a form from the school and then they walk you through. Maybe there's going to be an academic advisor who is a Christian that is going to be part of it. Praise the Lord. I have done it in Florida, so I, I feel very comfortable letting you know that it is doable. Praise the Lord. On this note, on behalf of Omega Fire Ministries Worldwide, on behalf of our spiritual parents, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman, I want to congratulate you, class of 2024, Omega Fire Ministries, Arizona. Congratulations. God bless you for being here. Hallelujah. Amen and amen.